Oh, cake. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Ah, uh, uh. Mm hmm. Thank you. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Kinda. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe there's a, could be a better partner. No, I'm, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> but see, I told you we could do the doubles. I told you. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, well, no! There's still a doubles match. And then there's also other doubles stuff to do, so don't... Don't get your panties in a bunch there, Neil. <laughs> there is... In fact, I would like to do a doubles thingy with you right now, if you don't mind. No, no dream. It's reality. Let's look at these... Well, okay, I gotta admit, having all these trophies does seem like a dream, but I assure you it is reality. <laughs> Okay, I'll give that to you off the, the dream part. Alright, doubles time! Yeah! <laughs> so back over to the Lynx Club. You know... Oh, you know, there's a match. And there's a match with not only Kid, but probably the meanest character in the entire game. <laughs> and you've met him way back in the first parts. You ready? You ready? I'll probably be seeing you soon. Let me begin by congratulating you on the Lynx Doubles Cup win! <laughs> if you win the title and in a match play, you'll be the ultimate doubles team. Are you ready to play? You bet I am. Look, even the Gene can't argue the fact that you're one of the best teams around. Yes, sir. Yep, it's Gene Yoss! <laughs> in fact, the situation reminds me of the Lynx Doubles Cup. And now, the Gene's bitter. <laughs> I don't need challenges like this to stir up nasty memories. Yeah, see what I mean? This is a mean one. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> if you lose them in a match for you, we'll have to hand over the ultimate status to them. Never! <laughs> Kid agrees. Although he's maybe he's not that furious about it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Links. Doubles. Well, doubles match. And we got the remix of his theme song, you know, Gene Yuss's theme song here, so... He is a very technical and precise player, so basically no matter where they go, he can pretty much get them out of trouble. Oh, ooh, thank you, Bunker, actually. That kind of helped a little bit. I will take that. Uh, but anyway... Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Top spin for... Is he gonna hit into the mound? Or is that just gonna go and fly off into the heath? Of... No, no, okay. <laughs> he got lucky to hit, he hit the rough there, because if it landed on the second fast fairway, that would have been in the heath, but anyway. Let's see if Neil can get us within birdie range here. That's a decent contact. But... Well, I'm gonna have to go for a chip in, aren't I? <laughs> hmm... Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Now this is what I mean about him being able to get them out of whatever he puts them into. Yeah, you see, that was a much better, well, actually a better shot than what Neil got. But anyway, I'm going to try and knock this down here. Since I straightened my shot, I shouldn't have to change the angle too much. Like, just a smidge to the left because of the wind. And... Uh, miss hit that a little bit, so it's not going to go the way I wanted it to, but... Well, hopefully they won't make their putt. <laughs> They probably will make their putt, though, so... And, yep, or the one down. Sad. Sad. <laughs> That's okay, though. There are 17 more holes to go. And Gene's up! And... Uh, what? That's gonna... yeah! That's... isn't that Heath? Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> I was gonna say, it really it looks like it was gonna go in the heath based on how he hit that. Like, if he would've hit it normally, it would've bounced over all the heath, because it would've went to that little alcove, I guess you could say, between the heath and then bounced to the lower area, but... Ooh, that's nice position, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Neither of us gonna make the green in two, but, you know, it's a, it's a game of birdies at this point in the game, so... 
high risk gameplay, I guess you could say, of just trying to get birdie, 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 birdie constantly. That's in the heath. Yeah, that, you know, that could be a good opportunity to get a point back here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and put us in really good position, if possible. I'm gonna curve it around stuff and top spin it using the pass fairway to get us some extra boost. Oh, too much boost! <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter, we're right next to the green, so... Hmm... As long as it doesn't go out of bounds or something. <laughs> out of bounds would be absolutely devastating. Well, for one point. Ooh, didn't make it. Okay, Neil? Neil, get us on the flat spot, please. And did you get us on the flat spot? It looks like it. Yes, we got this one, unless they chip it in. And yeah, this one, this hole is just causing us all sorts of ire from start to finish. Well, to an extent. I mean, Neil was probably in the best position at the beginning, but then I kind of plopped us in the heath. But then they had issues. But anyway, this, this hole is over. We birdied. <laughs> I'll take it. Too bad. Too bad. It's back to square. <laughs> hmm. You know, I, I do find it rather satisfying to beat someone who's really full of themselves. <laughs> you know, like Gene is. I mean, you know, Gene is just the computer, but I mean, if he was a real-life person, I, I would feel even better. But I mean, <laughs> you know, it's sort of like a... I don't know, it's a poetic justice thing. Like, it's just someone thinking they're invincible to being beaten and, well... Then I come along, and then I beat them, and then they're not. <laughs> it's fun that way. <laughs> it's probably humbling to them, too. Uh, but... But, will I be able to birdie this hole with a good putt? Maybe. But putts, they rhyme. I'm moving a little bit to the left because all that slope. A little bit uphill and through the fringe, so I'm gonna overhit by a couple notches. That's not bad. I, I mean, yeah, I, I would have been short no matter if I aimed it correctly or not, but, I mean, speed-wise, I, I guessed pretty good. And there we go. <laughs> Woo! So, another tie, and... Wait a second. I'm gonna try the same thing before, except this time, hopefully... Okay, perfect strike. I was gonna say, hopefully I don't... Get myself too far up the right side because there's tree, there's heath, there's fast fairway that can knock you into the heath or uh, heavy rough. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that the, I think I play faster than the computers generally. Generally, not all the time. Like sometimes I am. I'm. I have to think about some certain shots, but most of the time I just... I, I can just see the pathway how I want to do it before I even get to the shot and then I aim for it. Because <laughs> I've got a lot of experience on it, so I can... Well, I can play speed golf relatively quick. Not not super quick, though. Like, I, I've seen people be able to go through entire rounds much, much faster than I could. Well, I, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I don't practice speed golf all that much. It's just that... Uh, they have the whole thing memorized to the point that they can just zip, zip, zip to where they want to go. And it's pretty astonishing to see how fast you can actually play through a round of golf in this game. Uh, whoa, 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 I'm not in a chip. What the? <laughs> I don't have to be in a chip because I'm... Well, actually, maybe I could get away with putting here. Because it doesn't look like I'm that far off the green. And... Yeah, I'm just going to go for a putt. Get a good pass to Mark. And... Yeah! I might have saved us a point there, because he's probably going to make this putt. Uh, he didn't! Oh! <laughs> well, we're one up! <laughs> hmm. Neil? Why are you aiming towards that tree? Oh, you're going to miss it. Doesn't matter then. <laughs> as long as you miss it enough to avoid that front tree, we'll be good. Because, yeah, the rough, the semi-rough, not really that much of a factor. I mean, maybe it would be for a lower drive distance, but I, but we've increased it so much that it's kind of a non-issue now. Uh, it would be in real life, though. 
<laughs> Since this is Mario Golf, there isn't that much of a worry for it. Unless the lie gets really bad and rough or something, but anyway, I'm gonna have to curve around some stuff, though. Uh, I love it. I'm gonna have to land it, like, somewhere around there. Well, maybe I don't have to curve it at all. Uh, I, I better curve it, because the angle of the green. So yeah, I'm gonna hit like that, and super backspin, hopefully for control. Uh, well, that's not gonna reach the green, because it's gonna hit in the rough. Uh, see, when the impact area is that small, and, well, actually, that was due to the rough. <laughs> They're semi-rough. The issue is that... Is he hitting backwards? What the heck? But yeah, the issue is that when the impact area is that small, if you miss hit, it can cause an issue. But I don't miss hit that badly that often, <laughs> so I went for it. But, well, since he hit backwards, well, I don't think it's going to matter that much. Uh, here comes Gene Shot, and uh, this is not their hole, is it? I hope for their sake they chip it in to make for a better match, because otherwise we're going to be going two up here. Ooh! <laughs> well, I hope for them. I didn't wish the worst. But yeah, we're going to end up powering this. They're going to bogey it. Yeah, I thought that there would be a game of birdies, but... No, 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 powers win too, I guess. <laughs> two up. Full six. And... Um, come on, Neil. <laughs> this is... Uh, what? How did you hit that? Like, what are you trying to achieve? Well, that's not... Okay, that turned out incredible, actually. <laughs> I don't know how the computer determined that was the right shot, but... That worked out pretty dang well. I mean, that's a tight pin location. There's all that fast fairway. And remember, like I said before, the ball just doesn't really sit on those mounds on fast fairways. It just rolls off to the side of them because it's such a slick surface. So as long as you got over the top of it, it would automatically roll down towards the green. And I'm going to have to overhit this one due to all the fringe and the uphillness. I didn't move the cursor at all, though. And... Chances are they're going to birdie two, because they're on the flat spot. Don't have to move the cursor. You know the dealio. And the match continues on. I gotta say, this has been a much closer match than the other ones. Although, every time I say that, it, you know, it kind of goes south for my opponents, so... <laughs> Although, they might get a point right back here, so... It all depends where their drive goes. I would definitely play it safe. That is not safe. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's scooching between the... Okay, it worked out. I was gonna say it's not safe because it's going left in the rough, but... Uh, it's fine. They can make the green in two, but we cannot, because that Heath is nasty. Uh, well... Well... They're not going to either, okay. Well... <laughs> I'll smash it on down, I guess, with a 3-iron. And control it with super backspin. It's so awkward to time that... Yeah. <laughs> it's so awkward to time the, the bar when you have such a small area. So, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting too much out of that, but I wasn't expecting water. Well, well I flubbed that one. <laughs> It'll only be a one-point... Uh, Lost to the whole thing, but mm, mm, it might matter later on. Who knows? Who knows? This is golf after all. And eh, not bad. <clears throat> but even if I chipped it in, it wouldn't have mattered. Because I would have been five, and they're gonna be on and uh, I was gonna say on in one putt, but um maybe I should have chipped it in. <laughs> or I should say made a better or bigger attempt to chip it in. Okay, a, a bogey happens to win this one. <laughs> oh, well. Woo! 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 <laughs> I'll do one more hole, I think, and then end off the parts. I think. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll probably be one more hole, looking at the time on ye ol FF split. And uh, that was a close one. <laughs> Come on, Neil, keep us out of the heath. In fact, keep us out of everything. Just fairway or fast fairway. That's the best outcome possible here. Oh, that's a good... 
Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I didn't know how that was gonna turn out, but the the slope ended up kind of making all the momentum die out, and it just popped the ball right up in the air. So like a wedge shot in the way. <laughs> Drop and stop. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I do some shenanigans to reach the green in two from here? Probably not, but you know I'm gonna try it anyway because why not? Ooh, I smoked this one. Okay, hit that fast fairway. Hit the fast. Yes, keep going, keep going. You, yeah! <laughs> oh, that is some trick shot to re whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Even though I wasn't expecting that to happen, it was more like trick shot luckery. <laughs> no, I, and there's no luck to it, but it's just a thing out that I, I, I take educated guesses at shots because you know there's a, there's a lot of factors to shots like how I will hit and wow, nice bots. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah, that, I think that's a good time to end off the part, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing about it is that when I'm doing my shots, I, I know generally how I want to hit stuff. It's just, well, you don't know exactly how they're going to turn out because, you know, there's not, not a lot of precision, especially on the overhead stuff and whatnot. But anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here on the Eagle. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.